Okay, I did it. I finished it. I wanted to do a video about this guitar. Uh, the butchery I was going to do, of course, switch it over from just one single coil pickup to two humbuckers, and that is what I did. Maybe some people think, oh, you've ruined the value of that guitar. Well, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these guitars, and they were the lowest end Gibson USA guitar. So pretty doubtful that there's going to be collectors out looking for these things in pristine condition or in any condition. And this one, when I got it, was in this condition other than the pickups. Somebody had really taken their anger out on the finish uh, to try and make it look old. Well, it does look old and it also doesn't look good. So this is a perfect candidate for me to take and make into a melody maker with humbuckers, which is a guitar that I had when I was 20 years old, which I fell in love with, and which unfortunately, when I was about 23, it got stolen. And uh, I'm 67 now, and I've spent the better part of 40 some odd years looking for another one that was similar. And this is the closest one I've gotten so far, and I've owned probably four or five melody makers. And this one, it feels about the same. So I decided, okay, I'm gonna take this one and make it like my old one. So yes, I put it on the vertical milling machine and routed it out for the humbucking pickups and altered the pick guard so that it went around these um, pickup rings because I wanted to use the rings rather than just make a huge pick guard because I thought that would look kind of ugly. Whereas this doesn't look quite so bad. Um, so the Melody Maker shares some things with the Les Paul. It shares the same shape body. I mean, the outline is identical. The difference is the Melody Maker does not have a maple cap on it, like, you know, Les Paul standard. And also the body is fairly thin. So, um, but it's all mahogany. And um, the neck is all mahogany as well. So, <laughs> Melody Makers, um, you would think it would being all mahogany, it might be uh, you know, maybe not as bright sounding as a Les Paul, but um, I don't know. This one sounds really bright to me. I started out with a rhythm pickup, and now I'm going to go with both pickups so you can hear what that sounds like. funky with the two pickups. Very bright sounding, but not as bright as just the bridge pickup by itself. <laughs> because uh, my fingers are cold and, you know, about time for me to go home. But... A lot of dynamic changes between the pickups on this guitar, even though they're kind of close together. Because um, it's just a little ways up from this stop tailpiece and um, it's right up against the end of the fingerboard. But for some reason or other, they look a little closer to me than they would be on an SG or um, especially a Les Paul standard. Um, you know, maybe it's only a few millimeters difference, but it's enough to change the, the sound of the guitar a bit. So um, also when this guitar had just one pickup, the output jack was right here and this volume control was here. So I had to move the output jack to the side of the body. That took some doing. You have to have a really super long drill bit and you have to have a really super 
huge drill bit in order to get the jack to fit in the guitar. So um, yeah, it might take an investment in some specialized tooling in order to do this job. But um, for me, I had all that stuff. And I got the guitar cheaply. And these are Seymour Duncan Antiquity pickups, if you're wondering. And I got them cheaply as well. So this whole guitar for me is not a huge investment. You know, it's like well under 800 bucks. Of course, it <laughs> looks like an $8 guitar, not an $800 guitar, but it sounds as good as either of my two reissue Les Pauls, which cost <laughs> 10 times what this thing cost. So um, if you wind up with a melody maker and you want to make it more versatile, you want to make it less thin sounding, and you don't have the money for Les Paul, this is something you can do. It's something I did, and I'm actually pretty darn happy with it.